Hello, it's Bike Week uh, this week and I'm here with my colleague uh, Patricia Heatherton. We're at this new uh, segregated cycle path uh, here on Charter Avenue. What's the verdict, Pat? Well, I, I just think, you know, the barriers have gone. We're open now. It's separated from the road. The curb is there. People will feel safe. It'll take you right away up to the, the other part of Charter Avenue. Connect with Canley and um, Tar Hill Station. Um, if you go in the other direction, uh, you will link up with Earlsdon via Canley Ford or the A45. We're trying to get the connectivity around the city that you can cycle all the way around. And the key point about this, of course, is we want to, as you said, to connect with our other cycle paths. And some of our cycle paths that are not of the quality of these, we want to see if we can improve really, them as well. Yeah, that's exactly it. We want to improve the existing one and actually, uh, obviously, then go forward with the new ones. So it's important to say that the money has come through the Department of Transport, their active travel fund, that's 250,000, and that is making a difference in our city. And that's of course working with uh, Chris Boardman, who we've, we've had in the city on a few occasions recently, supporting us with the finance to do that. And of course this links up with all our other green travel initiatives, whether that's to do with electric buses, whether that's to do with VLR, whether that's to do with electrification of autonomous vehicles, etc. Coventry is showing the way forward for green travel here in Bike Week this week. 